This quick tutorial is going to show you the basics of setting up a new blog on WordPress.com. So first of all, we've gotten to WordPress.com here in our browser. This is showing Firefox, but you can use Chrome or any other web browser that you might be comfortable with. And then we're going to go ahead and create a website. WordPress is going to walk you through these steps. They're going to ask you some questions at the beginning, and a lot of these don't matter too much for now. What is your website about? They're going to use this information to help show you other blogs you might be interested in, but um, it doesn't matter too much. And since this is for a class, you can go ahead and pick the education options um, if you're not sure yet. They're also going to ask you what you want your blog to look like. This is picking the theme. And WordPress has many themes. You don't need to decide on this right now if you don't want to. There are many other options available, and you'll be able to access that from your dashboard once your WordPress blog is created. This step, finding a domain, is important. This, once you have it, is not going to change. So we need to try to find one that doesn't already exist anymore. Com210, is that available? Um, you're going to want to pick something related to you. We know that com210.wordpress.com is already taken because that's our course website, so we're going to try something else. I'm going to see if com210 demo is available, um, but you should be thinking about something to do with your name or uh, something to do with uh, your theme if you already know what your course topic is going to be for the semester. It looks like uh, that has already been taken as well. Let's see, com210 demonstration. There we go, that works, and it's free. They're going to try to get you to pay for um, other domain names and other sort of upgrades throughout this process. You don't ever have to purchase anything. The free version is always fine. However, you are welcome to purchase things if you'd like. Here again, we don't need to purchase anything. However, you're free to read through the plans and make a purchase if you'd like. We're going to go ahead and set up the account. It's recommended that you use your WSU email address, but you certainly don't need to. Uh, let's see. We're going to go ahead and choose a password as well. This can be reset um, through your email like many other accounts, but it's also good to, to choose something that you're going to remember. Now, that's all you need to do. Um, you'll have to confirm your account through your email. But you'll be able to do some basic setup even before you do that. Here we go. Here's our site. You can see that it's basically just a shell right now. They're going to walk you through a few places where you can make changes. Um, and then once you get to this, this is showing your, your front end. So this is what it looks like to other people, with the exception that you also see some of these editing tools up here at the top that other people won't see. This leads to creating a new post. You can change your profile. And if we come over here to My Site and click, that will bring up the menu um, that has all the options for your back end. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, Stats just to show you your full dashboard um, from the back end side of things. This shows you how your site is performing once you start having readers. And one of the options you're definitely going to use for this first assignment is Pages, where you're going to need to edit the existing About page, or you can delete that and create a new one. And you'll notice that once you're in the Page Editing interface, the menu over here changes. You can always click back to get to your main dashboard. There are other options here. This is where you can choose a theme if you didn't choose one already, or if you want to change it. You can always change your themes without it affecting the other content you've created. There are other settings you'll want to explore here. There are also settings in your WP Admin dashboard, which I will be demonstrating um, in another video coming up. But congratulations, you've now created your blog.